What's going on guys and welcome back to part 11 of building Netflix app from scratch using Swift 5 and UI kit. In this part, we're going to enable YouTube API service so that we can pull any trailer for any movie that we want. So without further ado, let's just get started and let me open Safari from here. Okay, so as you can see here, I'd search for Google Developer Console and we're going to click on the first link. And basically I've created a new account on Google over here so that I walk you through how to enable this service on your app. So basically we're going to click on credentials, all right? And then Google is going to ask you first to create a project. So that's ex exactly what we're going to do. So basically let's just create project. And let me call that, for example, um, Netflix clone. And let me just press create. All right, so once it's finished, you're going to see this page. So basically, we're going to just press on create credentials and we just need to choose the API key. And basically, this is going to be the key that we're going to use actually to access the YouTube API servers. OK, so just close right, that right now. And as you can see here, your API key is stored under the API key sections. And basically, you can just copy that from here. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is actually enable the YouTube API service. So let me just open the dashboard one more time over here. And over here, you're just going to see the enable APIs and service. We're going to click on that. And over here, we're just going to scroll down until we see the YouTube data API. Basically, we're just going to click on that and press enable. And that's it. Once it's finished, we're going to be able to use that to search the YouTube. All right, so as you can see here, the YouTube API services is already enabled. And as you can see here, we have the option to disable, but we won't do that actually. So let me just go back to my credentials and let me just get that API key and let me copy that API key. Let me fire up Xcode and I'm going to make sure that you are in the API caller. And over here, I'm just going to add this API key. So basically static let YouTube API key. I'm just going to paste that in. So right now we're going to be able to use that to search the YouTube. So let me just go back to Safari and let me go over here and type YouTube API. And let me open the first link over here and we're going to click on search for content. As you can see here, uh, we have the documentation on how to use the um, the API for YouTube to make a search. And as you can see here, we are searching with the Google um, APIs slash YouTube and the search. So basically, um, I know a way which is basically very easy, which is you can just scroll down on here on the right side of the screen and then click on show code and then click on the HTTP. And as you can see here, basically, this is the going to be the HTTP link or the URL that we're going to use to fetch data from the YouTube. So basically, uh, we can scroll down here um, and you see this queue. Basically, this is going to be our string that we're going to pass or basically this is going to be the string that we're going to search for. So let me just type in here, for example, Harry Potter. And as you can see here, uh, it gets uh, updated over here and uh, the space between Harry and Potter is just um, now a percent 20, uh, which we can do easily in Xcode. And we have done that in the last video as well. So basically, uh, we're just going to pass uh, our API key in here. So let me just, um, you know, make that easier to read. So let me just copy that. All right. And let me just go back in here to API caller. Uh, I'm just going to create a new function over here. So let me just go um, in the, this section over here. So let me just type a new function, which is going to be func get movie with query. That is going to be a type of string. And we're going to take care of the completion function. But later, uh, I'm just going to right now create a URL. So let me just dive in here, let URL, and that is going to be a URL of a string. And over here, I'm just going to pass in the string that we have. All right. Um, basically, I can see here, this is going to be basically the same across the URLs that we're going to make. So let me just um, go in here and let me copy that or cut that actually. And I'm go just going to go over here. I'm going to type static let YouTube 
base URL and that is going to be equals to this and instead I'm just going to pass that one more time in here so let me just type constants dot YouTube base URL and now we have our query over here I'm just going to take that from there from the search function because it's going to basically uh, be the same all right so let me just type in here guardlet query dot adding preset encoding with allow characters url allowed so basically that is going to take responsibility for replacing the white space with the percent 20 that you saw earlier okay and right now i'm just going to pass that in here all right so now i have my query and over here i'm just going to replace that with my api key that we got earlier so youtube api key and basically that is going to be the url so let me just guard that out so guard let and that is going to be um else return and now we have our api url ready to be used so right now i'm just going to make um a task so let task or you know what we can just copy that one more time over here so i'm just going to take that all and I'm just going to paste that one more time in here. And as you can see here, basically, we're just doing the same things over and over again. So I believe it's pretty easy. So um, we haven't yet decided the completion function. Uh, what will it do? So let me just, instead of trying to decode that one more time in here, let's just, for now, view the response that we're going to get back from the YouTube API. So for now, I'm just going to print the error over here. And here, I'm just going to type JSON serialization dot um, JSON object. And that is going to come from data. And I'm going to say fragments allowed. And over here, I can just print that results. And we just need to fire up this um, function basically from outside so let me just go to my home view controller for now and we're going to change that basically however um i just want to open the view load method over here and over here i'm just going to say api color shared dot get movie and over here since we don't have a completion function yet so i'm just going to pass in a normal string so basically harry potter and let me build and run this and let me see what do i get so far All right, so basically, as we can see here, permission denied. I believe something wrong with the API. So let's just go back to the API caller. And let me see here. Um, and basically, yes, we forgot. Actually, um, I removed the key parameter as well. So let's just make sure that you type that exactly like I do over here. Um, I just forgot to add the key keyword. So let me just hit build and run one more time. And let me see what do I get. And as you can see here, we managed to get the response successfully from the YouTube server. So let's have a quick look on the response that we get from the YouTube server. As you can see here, basically there is an array of some sort of object. And that object has, as you can see here, an attribute which is called ID. And inside that ID, we have the video ID that we can use to search for the actual video on YouTube. So let me just copy that right here. And let me just go up in the models over here and I'm just going to create a new file and I'm going to name that YouTube search response. All right. And over here, let me just create a new struct. Let me give that name of YouTube search results. And that is going to be conforming to the protocol, which is codable over here. I'm just going to create an item and we can just know what we're gonna have by this so basically we have an array of items so items and that is going to be an array of maybe um video element so i'm just going to create that over here so video element or yeah video element that sounds good all right 
Now Xcode is going to complain because it doesn't know what is video element is, and we just can give that a definition over here. So structure of video element that is going to be a codable as well. And over here, it's going to have um, maybe something like an ID. So um, let ID that is going to be an object as well. Maybe we can call that um, maybe video element. Oh, I'm sorry. Video element. Or we can just call it ID video element. All right, so right now we just need to create that structure. So struct ID video, or we can just copy that name over here. So struct ID video element that is going to be conforming to the codable protocol as well. And that should be having like two fields, the kind field, and that is going to be a string. And basically the ID or video ID and make sure to have the same name over here as well. So string. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm not going to be using the kind, but I'll just leave it here. So right now we have the structure for, or basically the model for the YouTube response uh, ready. And also I can change that from results to response. So it matches the, um, the name of the file over here. All right. And now let's just jump in in the API caller and let's just complete our function over here, which is basically get movie. So I can just copy the same um, completion handler over here. So let me just paste that over here. So let me just have the completion function, but instead of returning an array of title, I'm just going to return a video element from here and you can just go back to the um, YouTube search response and basically the video element is going to have the ID. So let me just go back in here. So I'm just going to return a video element, not an array of video element. Make sure that you have this right. And now instead of just realizing the data over here, I'm just going to decode that. So let me just have an instance of the JSON decoder and now press decode. And over here, I'm just going to use the YouTube search response that I have from the data. And over here, I can just print the results. And now let me hit build and run and let me see what do I get. All right, so we have an error over here. So let me just go and fix that really quick. And basically the API shared um, get movie response that misses and uh, like um, completion over here. So let me just API color dot shared dot get movie. All right, so let me just pass in here Harry Potter. And over here, I'm just going to get the results. I'm not going to do anything with the results right now. Let me just hit build and run and let me see what do I get. All right, so basically I have here an array and that array, as you can see here, has the best matches for the searches that we have. But more importantly, um, the decoding went successfully and as you can see here we can just access the first um, the first object over here and it does have like an ID which is going to be this that this is what we're going to be using for searching the YouTube and now let me just go back to the API caller one more time and uh, instead of just um, printing the results over here so let's just actually return the results so the completion that is going to take success and for the video element i'm just going to access the results items and basically that is going to be an array as you can see over here but basically i just need the best search option so i'm just going to access the first element over here and if it's all went wrong so let me just go and pass the uh, failure over here so i can pass the error and that's it for the get movie function. All right, so let me just go back to my home view controller right now. And basically I want to delete this. Basically, I don't want the app to search for Harry Potter each time I open the app. All right, so let me just scroll down over here. And as you can see here, basically we are rendering each section with its own titles. So basically we can just go back in here, title table view controller, and um, I believe that's the one. 
um okay so yeah basically that's it that's the one that we're looking for basically as you can see here we are rendering each cell which with the, with the model so basically we can just implement that one more for over here so basically did select and make sure that you're in a collection table view cell and i'm just going to implement that function over here so basically whenever i tap on any title first of all i just need first to have a collection view dot deselect item and i'm just going to deselect that one in the index path and i'm just going to set the animated to true i'm just going to grab the title name so let me just guard let title name and that is going to be all right so let me just grab the title first so let title that is going to be titles all right index bath dot row and basically we have the title over here so guard let title name that is going to be title dot original title name or the title dot original title all right and i can just return if it's not going if it's empty or basically if it's no so basically i have the title name and over here i can just say api color dot shared dot get movie and over here i can just pass in the title name and as a little hack i can just append the word trailer into it so basically i can search youtube with that exact same name plus adding the trailer word next to it and i can just get the result over here all right so i'm just going to switch on the result and in case of success let me get that video element all right and over here i can just print the video element dot id and if it all goes wrong maybe we can just have another um case for the error or basically it's not optional to be exact it's mandatory to do so let me, for example let me just print the error over here and for now let me just test that so let me hit build and run and over here maybe i can um, have something like uh, maybe we can choose something like um no time to die or doom i'm go just going to choose that and over here you can see that we have made the request for the youtube server and we have basically a returned object which we can actually copy that video id and over here let me just open youtube um let me just open any um video for example let me just open that one over here and as you can see here we can add this video id over there so let me just paste that over here and let me hit build and run and as you can see basically we have the official main trailer of the movie that we have clicked on so basically that's it for this tutorial so if you liked what you just saw please hit that like button it helps me a lot and consider subscribing to my channel and stay tuned for more upcoming videos so at the end i just wanted to thank you so much for sticking around up to this video so please have a good day and stay safe